In this video, I'm going to explain you stepwise process of building, training and deploying a machine learning model with Amazon SageMaker. OK, so this is going to be a technical session, guys. Be ready to pay a lot of attention and hence you will learn a lot of things in this video. Before going into the video, guys, I want to remind you that I have an Amazon AWS playlist on Unfold Data Science. There are six videos in case you want to revise what all we have covered till now. OK, in the last video, I showed what are the important components from SageMaker point of view or machine learning point of view in AWS. OK, today we are going to see how to build, train and deploy our first model. Let's go ahead and I'm into this SageMaker Studio, guys. And I told you in last video how to open SageMaker Studio, how to create a domain, etc. everything. OK, the link is right here. I'll paste in the description as well. You guys can revise if you want. Now, what we will do is I'm not going to explain you um, everything which is general between AWS and normal machine learning. OK, I'm going to uh, explain you things which are very specific to AWS because normal things more or less, you know how to build train and deploy a model, but how things are different when it's an AWS environment. That is what the focus of explanation is going to be. OK, so let's go ahead and try to see what I'm doing in each step here. So four five steps four steps basically this notebook is divided into first is environment setting and data import that you can see here environment setting and data import okay so what i'm doing here first thing that we will need is data right so data we will need now when you when you build a model in your local environment or when you build a model in in your local computer or any other machine right um, you may have a csv file you may connect to a database you may get it from some api etc here, what I'm doing is I'm getting data from Amazon itself, AWS itself. OK, so AWS has kept some data on some location. For example, here you can see here US West S3, US West Amazon AWS. Then some data is there autopilot, direct marketing, bank additional. So this is the URL for the data, which they have given it for free to use to people for practice purpose, learning purpose. OK, so I need this data. How I will get this data? I'm just running a simple command here, wget. wget, I want to hit that URL. I want to get that file and then I'm unzipping that data. So first thing first, how we are getting the data? We are getting the data kept on AWS server through wget. What is wget? Just a normal command, Linux command, you can say, to get data from some URL, OK? So once I run this, I get the data and I unzip that data. Now you can see here, I have run this notebook already. So this is showing like this, OK? Now I'm importing pandas and I'm just showing you how that data looks like. OK, so as you can see, there are multiple columns, age, job, marital status, education, default, housing, contract, etc. And towards the end, you will see the target column for this data. OK, this column is your target column, the last column, Y column. OK, now all these are your independent columns. So as I told you, we will put focus on only the features which are different between when you build a normal normal thing you do and when I'm doing it in SageMaker. OK, so in SageMaker, you have to import SageMaker first. OK, and then this is a usual practice of opening SageMaker session. So you say ses is equal to SageMaker dot session, which means you are opening a SageMaker session here. You want to perform some activities. So you are opening a SageMaker session here. Using the SageMaker session, what I'm doing is I'm uploading the data, the data which I have just downloaded. I'm uploading that data to one of the S3 location. This I'm doing to keep a backup of my data. For example, tomorrow if I want to refer which data I build my model on, right? So in the first step, I extracted the data from some AWS location. In this step, I'm pushing that in a S3 bucket and this is the bucket location where I'm pushing that. OK, and how I'm doing that using this upload data. So what we have done, done till now, taken and pushed it to the AWS data. Now let's move ahead, guys. And one important thing you need to know here is called Boto3. Boto3 is something that you don't use outside AWS because this is basically a AWS SDK kind of library you can think of that makes you enable to work in Python environments and interact with different AWS services. So suppose you want to use Python in AWS environment, you need Boto3 
to interact with multiple services. Okay, that is the usability of AWS uh, Boto3. Now you come here and you import something known as execution role and then you say role is equal to execution role. So as you know, AWS is a cloud uh, platform. So roles and permissions are quite important here. Okay, just pay attention to what all new things we are doing. That's all. Okay, you no need to go much deep into model building steps, etc. Just new things. So new thing is Boto3, new thing is role. Okay, let's move ahead. All these things are normal packages important apart from SageMaker, which I had done before also, but let's let it be here. Okay. And then I'm just doing some EDA and data preparation. So what I'm doing is I'm doing frequency tables for each categorical feature and then histogram for each numerical features. Okay. So I will not go into much detail of normal Python codes. Okay. So these are nothing but, you know, um, seeing the percentages of in my categorical feature, which is how many times and uh, some of these, you know, describe kind of thing and then some of these scatter plots, etc. Okay. Then I'm doing some correlation analysis here. Very simple Python code. Okay. Nothing new here also. So I will skip this part as well. Then I'm doing some kind of feature engineering here. This is normal machine learning stuff. So if you can see line one, I'm just replacing few values with some other values. Line two, also same thing. Line three, I'm creating dummy data. Okay. Dummy variables. So normal machine learning stuff here as well. Okay. Then dropping some column based on my analysis of um, correlation and based on my analysis of scatter plot. Now this line is important. I'm breaking trend validation and test data by doing NP dot split here. Okay. So I'm breaking in some proportion here as you can see and we are having now trend test and validation set here. If you go one line down, then what we are doing, we are preparing our train data. Okay, train data, validation data, test data, and you know, uh, predictor and response we are separating. Okay, the next block of line which you are see here, which you are seeing here, what's happening? Just pay attention here, guys. As I told you, Boto is a package that makes Python developer work in AWS environment and enable Python code to communicate with various AWS services. So, here using Boto, what we are doing is we are talking to S3. So see here, boto3 dot session dot resource. Which resource are we talking to? S3. Okay. Then we are saying bucket. Which bucket I want to talk to? I want to talk to SageMaker session dot default bucket. Okay. I have taken one bucket. You can give any other bucket as well. Given uh, this role or whichever user is running this has permission to that bucket or that user, whichever role that user has acquired. Permission is important, guys. Otherwise, this will fail. Okay. So default bucket I have taken. In this default bucket, what I am doing, if you see this one line from here to here, I'm just uploading my train.csv that I prepared in this line, in this block. So what I'm doing in the default bucket, using the help of Boto3, I'm uploading my train data, test data, validation data, and all the data that I want to upload, okay? Now, this is two parts of the of this problem is done. For example, data import is done and EDA and data preparation is also done. Let's move ahead to the training model part. So in training model, important things and different things from normal day to day work, right? So normally when you when you want to use, let's say, XGBoost in Python, how you will use? You will import XGBoost package, right? But in AWS environment, AWS has given you many packages in the form of image URIs. So see these two lines, guys, carefully here. From SageMaker, import image underscore URIs and container is equal to image URIs dot retrieve XGBoost from this region, version, whatever you want. This line is critical and important here. Suppose you want to use random forest. Suppose you want to use decision tree. Suppose you want to use some other module, okay? One way of doing that would be you can get it from Python or you can do a uh, independent installation and get it here. Second way of doing it is directly it's kept in the AWS repository, okay? How do you get from AWS repositories? You can just import image URI and you can import whatever model you want to use like this, okay? This is important. Now, I want to take train data and I want to take validation data. You remember where we had kept this data? We had kept in a S3 bucket, default bucket, okay? So from this, we are importing it. Now, see the difference, guys. This is the real 
world process of how you work in a machine learning project right it's not like you will always work in a notebook and you know file is there in the notebook and you are using it you are keeping it at a location and then you are pulling it that's what i'm doing here i'm pulling the data that i had kept in the bucket okay and what is the way to pull the data sagemaker dot inputs you just say this is my input data that's all okay this is my input data this is my validation data once you do that then this line I had run before as well. So no need of this line basically. And then sagemaker.estimator.estimator. And here you have to say, what is your container? Container is nothing but XGBoost model that we got now. Okay. What is your role? If you remember in the beginning, we created kit execution role. Okay. Instance count. How many instances you want to run? What type of instance? Instance means you can think of server or EC2 to keep it very simple. Output path where you want to store your output. SageMaker session. If you remember, this is the SageMaker session. That one line I had run in the beginning also. Okay. So this is your defining the model. Till now, you are just defining your model. And now you will go here and you will just say, these are my initial hyperparameters. Now go ahead and train the model. XGB.fit. At the moment, you say XGB.fit, right? It will start fitting your model on S3 input trend and validation on S3 input validation. Now, if you can see here, I had run this before. Okay, so starting the training job, preparing the instance for training, downloading input data, downloading training image. Input data is your data, training image is your file, XGBoost file, okay? And then it will start running your model. So see here, and then it took some time when I ran it. That is the reason I'm not lively uh, in the live session running it, okay? And then it says you uploading generated training model. So where it will upload, you had given a path, right? Then training job completed. How much time? 98 seconds. Billable seconds is 98. I have to pay for this 98 seconds. Not a problem. And then this line is very important here, guys. SGP predicted is equal to xgb.deploy. Initial instance contents and instance type MLM for X large. Pay attention here, guys. How cloud platform makes your life easy. Okay, now suppose in the in the real world or in your day-to-day uh, -day job, if you want to host a model, if you want to create an endpoint for your model, right? It's a big task for you. You have to host it using some API kind of environment or some kind of Python web, uh, web UI kind of environment, right? AWS makes it very, very simple for you. You just call this deploy method, okay? You just say xgb.deploy and say on how many instances you want to deploy and what is the instance type you want to deploy on. If you say these two things, right, it will simply create a model endpoint for you. So create model with name this, create endpoint with name this, and create endpoint with name this. So it will just create endpoint for you. Now this model is ready for consumption, okay? But before that, there are a few more things. We have to do the serialization for, the, for our model, okay? So what is serializer? It's a very simple concept. I have opened here this also. See here, SageMaker serializer dot serializer, base serializer. So implement methods for serializing data for an inference endpoint. So whenever you send your data for prediction, right? That needs to be serialized. And that is what will happen here. Okay, CSV serializer will work here because our data is in CSV form, if you remember. Okay, now I am defining a predict function here and just simply calling this predict function with our test data. Okay, test data was created here. If you remember guys, test data was created here when we were breaking in test and train, right? So here, if you see, we had written it to, to, to a S3 bucket test or CSV, okay? And what we are doing here, we are simply saying run this predict function on that data, okay? On that test data. And then we will take this and we will do the prediction, PD dot cross step, confusion matrix, all these things you know already. Once everything is done, then just to just to ensure that we do not keep that endpoint running, otherwise, uh, you know, money will be uh, going because that endpoint is running, right? So delete the endpoint is a good practice. So in this entire process, guys, there are five, six main things that you have to remember. Let me summarize you, okay? As I'm telling you again and again, don't bother about what is this model and how model is working, etc. I did not explain knowingly those things. Remember, when you are working in SageMaker kind of environment, it's always good to keep your data in S3 or some of the AWS storage. Okay, various types of AWS storage are there, which I have a video in that playlist. You can watch that. 
Second thing that you have to you have to keep in mind is you will need Sage Makers and then session you need to open. You need to keep in mind you will use Boto package whenever in Python you are interacting with any of the AWS services. Okay. You need to keep in mind that leave this machine learning things. You need to keep in mind that always keep taking a backup of your data in S3. S3 is a cheap storage, so in S3. Okay. Then you no need to import from Pandas or somewhere if you want to use any packages, something you will get that in AWS itself by using image URI. Okay. You can hyper, you can tune your models very simply here. You can deploy your model by just calling dot deploy function. And it's very easy to create an endpoint here and your model is live. Now my model is live. Okay. I want to create an API for this. I want to connect it to a third party system. All these things are doable in just few lines of code. Okay. Now you will also want to practice this. So let me give you a very good link where you can go and do all these things that I have done here. Okay. So go to here, this, this link I will paste in the description, AWS, Amazon.com hands on build, train and deploy uh, SageMaker. Okay. So come here and you will see all the steps that I ran just now and step by step, create a notebook instance. Okay. And then prepare your data. Then what are the code will be also there. You can copy it and run it. And if you go all the way till deletion of the endpoint, see clean up. It is telling to clean that the last step. Okay. Clean that uh, model endpoint. Otherwise you may be charged. It is also deleting the buckets where we stored our data or intermediary files just to be on the safer side so that there is no charge. Okay. I will give you this link. If you are into data science, if you have to do anything with machine learning, ensure you get your hands dirty in SageMaker. Okay. You might get frustrated because things are little different than how we learn day to day machine learning. But remember guys, this is worth giving your time. Okay. I will come up with more videos on AWS, but first ensure you learn everything up to here. So now there will be seven videos in this series. Okay. First is basic. Second is storage. Third is computing. Fourth is application deployment. Fifth is CLI. Sixth is SageMaker introduction. And including this, this is building, training and deploying a SageMaker uh, machine learning model in SageMaker. Okay. So just be clear up to here and I'm very soon coming up with more videos. Please give me a thumbs up guys. If you like this content, I will create more content. If you guys give me good comments and likes, see you all in the next video, wherever you are, stay safe and take care.